The Neocatechumenal Way, also known as the Neocatechumenate, NCW or, colloquially, the Way, is a charism within the Catholic Church dedicated to Christian formation. It was formed in Madrid in 1964 by Kiko Arguello and Carmen Hernández, taking its inspiration from the catechumenate of the early Catholic Church by which converts from paganism were prepared for baptism. It provides post-baptismal formation to adults who are already members of the Church or to those far from the Church who have been attracted by the testimony of Christian life of love and unity in the communities cf. JN 1335, 1721, as proposed in the Rite of Christian Initiation of Adults RCIA. Due to numerous vocations coming from the families formed in the communities, it has also helped to establish and run over 100 missionary diocesan seminaries in various locations. They are called, Redemptoris Mater, seminaries. It is responsible for communities of, Families in Mission called Missio ad Gentes, living in many cities around the world. Together with a priest and his socius, and some celibate women, they make present the church in places of little or no Catholic presence. The Neocatechumenate, as an itinerary of Christian initiation, is implemented in small, parish-based communities of up to 50 people. In 2007 there were around 40,000 such communities throughout the world, with an estimated million Catholics following the itinerary. <laughs> early history In the early 1960s, Francisco Kiko Arguello moved to the shanty town of Palomira's Altars in Valcas, Madrid, and gathered a community of gypsies and marginalized poor. He was soon joined by Carmen Hernández, who linked the community to the theological and liturgical zeitgeist surrounding the Second Vatican Council, and won the support of the Archbishop of Madrid Casimiro Morquithlo González, who had been a relator during sessions of the Council. Morquithlo encouraged Arguello to share their activities with nearby parishes. The community took this as a mandate to preach in middle-class parishes in Madrid, emphasizing a spirituality of humility, simplicity, and praise, lived in communities more like those of the New Testament. Gradually, the community's approach was codified in a «catechetical synthesis», referred to as the «tripod». Word of God Liturgy Community", with the stated aim of seeking to lead people to fraternal communion and mature faith. The movement spread through the Archdiocese of Madrid and to other Spanish dioceses. In 1968, it began to spread beyond Spain when Arguello and Hernández arrived in Rome and settled in the Borghetto Latino. With the permission of Angelo dell'Acqua, Vicar General of Rome, they began preaching in the parish of Our Lady of the Blessed Sacrament and the Canadian Martyrs. <laughs> <laughs> Leadership and governance The community of Neocatechumens was led by the "...international responsible team of the way." Arguello, Hernández, and Fr. Mario Petzi, a priest of the Diocese of Rome, until Hernández's death, in 2016. Under the terms of the 2007 statute, the three members of this leadership team will remain in place for life, after which an electoral college of senior neocatechumenal catechists will elect a new team which, with the approval of the Pontifical Council for the Laity, will have a mandate to lead the way for a period of seven years until new elections are held. The Neocatechumenal Way announced on 13 February 2018 that Maria Ascension Romero had been chosen to join the leadership team. Leadership at national and regional levels rests in approximately 700 teams of itinerant catechists, comprising a priest and two or three lay men and women, appointed and supervised by the international responsible team. Depending on the number of communities in a particular area, a team of itinerant catechists may be responsible for the implementation of the NC Way in a country, a group of countries or a region of a country. Pope John Paul II summarized the role of the itinerant catechists in December 1985. 
They contribute by forming the first neocatechumenal communities of a parish, and are supposed to maintain regular contact with the bishops of the diocese in which they work. The itinerant teams preserve a constant link with the responsibles of the neocatechumenal way, visiting periodically the communities they catechized and taking care of the development of the neocatechumenal way in the territory assigned to them, being fully faithful to the charism given to the initiators and obedient to the local ordinary." The itinerant catechists do not make any formal commitment to their missionary role, and are free to resign at any time. In June 2008 the statutes of the Neocatechumenal Way received final approval from the Vatican. <laughs> Nature and mission of the Neocatechumenal Communities The Neocatechumenal Way describes itself as a «community», deprecating terms such as «organization» or «movement» being «at the service of the bishops as a form of diocesan implementation of Christian initiation and of ongoing education in faith, in accordance with the indications of the Second Vatican Council and the Magisterium of the Church». From the initial catechesis, it typically takes several years and passing through stages of faith formation in the local communities, until a member reaches the renewal of the baptismal vows. It is implemented in dioceses under the jurisdiction of the bishop and the guidance of the responsible team of the way according to the lines proposed by its initiators. Missionary activity Responding to secularization, the Neocatechumenal Way introduced a program called, "...Families in Mission", families serving to establish the presence of the Catholic Church in countries where there is none this is referred to as implantatio ecclesiae or to strengthen the presence of Catholic communities in particularly difficult areas. On January 12, 2006, about 200 families met with Pope Benedict XVI, asking for a missionary mandate before beginning their mission to France, Belgium, Germany, and China, bringing the number of families in mission to more than 500. In March 2008, the Way met with nine cardinals and 160 European bishops at the Domus Galilei International Center on the Mount of Beatitudes in Galilee. Christoph Cardinal Schonborn said that during the last 40 years Europe has said no to its future three times, in 1968 when it rejected humani vitae, then, 20 years later, with the legalization of abortion, and today with homosexual marriages." He called the Neocatechumenal Way an answer of the Holy Spirit to this situation. A joint declaration from the bishops said, "...here we have an important proposal, the proposal of the Neocatechumenal Way, which is to renew the life of the family." On January 10, 2009, Benedict XVI met with over 10,000 people for a celebration marking the 40th anniversary of the Neocatechumenal Way in Rome. From this celebration several whole communities were sent on mission, along with itinerant catechists, mission families, and the Missio ad gentes a newer form of mission that sends three to five families to a particular area at the request of the bishop. The World Youth Days Approximately every three years, the World Youth Day has been organized by the Roman Catholic Church, during which the Pope summons youths from all over the world to a chosen city. The Way has been an active supporter of these, rallying its young members to attend. For instance, during World Youth Day 2008 held in Sydney, George Cardinal Pell said that of the 110,000 international visitors that attended, 40,000 were from the Neocatechumenal Way, and some 300,000 attended Madrid World Youth Day. During the event, young members of the Neocatechumenal Way meet with Arguello for a vocational call 
In Sydney, for example, approximately 1,500 men answered the call for the priesthood and 850 young women stood up to show their willingness to enter the consecrated life, and in Bonn 2005, around 1,500 young men and another 900 young women answered the call. These young men and women begin a process of discernment in their own dioceses and communities, which may lead to priesthood most of the priestly vocations go to a redemptorous mater seminary or consecrated life. The Neocatechumenal Way in the Eastern Rites and the Holy Land During the Neocatechumenal Way vocational meeting held near the Sea of Galilee following Pope Benedict XVI's visit to the Holy Land in May 2009, Arguello described the Way's situation in the Holy Land, claiming 30 communities that follow several different Christian rites, and holding them up as an example of the ecumenical breakthrough. There are seven communities following the Latin rite, in Jaffa, Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, Nazareth, Bethlehem and Kenya. In March 2000, the Way opened its Domus Galilei Formation Center on the slopes of the Mount of Beatitudes in Israel. The facility is used for studies and retreat, Christian seminars and conventions. In June 2007, Archbishop Elias Chakor proposed the establishment of a new branch of the Neocatechumenal Way to work specifically in the Eastern Rite Church. Archbp. Chakor stated in his message that he has searched for someone or some community to preach the good news to my parishioners as an answer to proselytism of the sects, and that the neocatechumenal way is an answer. A spokesman for the way reported the letter to Zenit, saying that, We share the sense of urgency expressed by Archbishop Chakor to evangelize the living stones in the land of the Lord. The Greek Catholic Rite runs a Redemptorous Mater Seminary within Domus Galilei, and has twelve neocatechumenal communities in several Palestinian villages, three each in Shefema, Tarsia and Melia, two in Abilin and one in Kanya. Additionally, there are two Maronite communities in Gish and Haifa, as well as two Hebrew-speaking communities in Haifa and Tel Aviv. The Redemptorous Mater Seminaries The Way also operates several seminaries dubbed Redemptorous Mater Seminaries which combines the priestly formation found in a seminary with the Christian formation received in a neocatechumenal community. Potential candidates often undergo a time of «pre-vocational formation» before entering the seminary, which operates somewhat in the manner of a pre-med course, designed to prepare and awaken their vocations. The intent was to establish a seminary that was both international, i.e. with vocations coming from different nations, and missionary, i.e. upon ordination, the priests are available to go wherever their ordinary sends them. In 1988, the first Redemptorous Mater Seminary was established in Rome by Ugo Cardinal Paletti, and today there are Redemptorous Mater Seminaries throughout the world in places such as Managua, Nicaragua, Rome, Italy, Carni, NJ, USA. Boston, MA, USA, Madrid, Spain, Berlin, Germany, Guam, Sarajevo, Bosnia and Herzegovina, Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, Manila, Philippines and Warsaw, Poland. Topic: The Statutes and the Catechetical Directory. In 1997, Pope John Paul II encouraged Arguello and Hernandez to examine their 30-year experience of the way, and to formalize it with a written statute." And Joseph Cardinal Ratzinger urged the drafting of the statutes as, "...a very important step that will open the way to the formal juridical recognition by the Church, and giving you a further guarantee of the authenticity of your charism." 
The statutes drafted in response were approved ad experimentum for five years in 2002, and on June 13, 2008, after review by five dicasteries and the Pontifical Council for the Laity, Stanislaw Cardinal Rylko published a decree containing the definitive approval of the statutes of the Neocatechumenal Way. The statutes describe the nature of the Way and regulate its charism and specific tasks within the Church. Through them the Neocatechumenal Way was endowed with «public juridical personality» status. The Way is thus closely governed by an ecclesiastical authority, performs entrusted functions «in the name of the Church» and has no material goods of its own. Inter alia, in Article 13, the statute stated that the masses of the communities must be «open also to other faithful» that communion must be received standing that for the biblical readings only brief admonitions of introduction are permitted apart from the homily the statutes refer to a catechetical directory which received vatican approval at the end of 2010 this originated with 13 volumes of materials published by Arguello in 1972 based on his and hernandez's preaching entitled the orientations for the teams of catechists the orientations were held in secret until 1997 when Cardinal Ratzinger ordered that they be handed over to the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith for a doctrinal examination. The examination lasted until 2003, during which the Congregation made minor corrections and added citations of about 2,000 references to parallel passages in the Catechism of the Catholic Church. After thorough examination by various Vatican dicasteries, on December 26, 2010, the Pontifical Council for the Laity approved the text of the catechesis which are handed on to neo-catechumens during their itinerary. Pope Benedict XVI praised the approval. With these ecclesiastical seals, the Lord confirms today and entrusts to you again this precious instrument that is the way, so that you can, in filial obedience to the Holy See and to the pastors of the Church, contribute, with new impetus and ardor, to the radical and joyful rediscovery of the gift of baptism and to offer your original contribution to the cause of the new evangelization. Topic. Liturgy The Neocatechumenal Way regards liturgy as one of its three fundamental elements tripod, along with the Word of God scripture, and Christian community. The Paschal Mystery, celebrated in the Sacred Triduum, is seen as a liturgical axis and source of Christian life and a fulcrum of the Neocatechumenate which leads to «rediscovery» of Christian initiation. The Eucharist is essential to the Neocatechumenate, since this is a post-baptismal catechumenate lived in small communities. In fact, the Eucharist completes Christian initiation. The Neocatechumenal communities celebrate the Sunday Eucharist in small communities, this celebration takes place according to the dispositions of the diocesan bishop. The celebrations of the Eucharist of the Neocatechumenal communities on Saturday evening are part of the Sunday liturgical pastoral work of the parish and are open also to other faithful. For the celebration of the Eucharist in the small communities the approved liturgical books of the Roman Rite are followed, with the exception of the explicit concessions from the Holy See. Regarding the distribution of Holy Communion under the two species, the Neocatechumens receive its standing, remaining at their place. The Congregation for Divine Worship and the Discipline of the Sacraments has observed the Way's liturgical practices from the beginning. Pope John Paul II celebrated the Eucharist at the meeting with the communities in Porto San Giorgio in 1989, exactly as the communities do it, including the communion rite in a sitting position. 15. Cardinal Francis Arenes, however, the prefect of the congregation from 2002 until 2008, wrote in December 2005 a private letter to Arguello, Hernandez and Petsy on behalf of Pope Benedict. He advised that, I end the celebration of the Holy Mass, the Neocatechumenal way shall accept and follow the liturgical books approved by the Church, without omitting or adding anything. 
The letter directed members of the Way to adopt the prescribed method of receiving Holy Communion, to participate in parish life, and to celebrate Mass with the rest of the parish community on at least one Sunday each month. The Way argues that Arenes's letter has been superseded by the final statute of the Neocatechumenal Way insofar as it says that the celebrations of the Eucharist of the Neocatechumenal communities on Saturday evening are part of the Sunday liturgical pastoral work of the parish and are open also to other faithful. In his canonical observations on the definitive approval of the statutes of the Neocatechumenal Way, Monsignor Juan Arrieta, Secretary of the Pontifical Council for Legislative Texts, summarizes the liturgical concessions of the Neocatechumenal Way as follows First, that the Neocatechumens celebrate the Eucharist in the small community, after the first Vespers of Sunday. Second, that this celebration after first Vespers takes place according to the disposition of the diocesan bishop. Third, that these celebrations, a part of the pastoral work and consequently are open to all the faithful. Fourth, that in these celebrations the liturgical books approved by the Roman Rite are followed, with the exception of the explicit concessions from the Holy See, always with unleavened bread, moving the rite of peace before the consecration, communion under both species, brief admonitions and echoes and, finally, a new way for the distribution of communion, regarding the distribution of Holy Communion under the two species, the Neocatechumens receive standing, remaining at their place. In an interview with the Spanish newspaper La Razón, Antonio Cardinal Canizares, then prefect of the Congregation for Divine Worship, expressed his view on the Eucharistic celebration of the Neocatechumenal Way. There are no liturgical anomalies in the Eucharist, everything is in full compliance with the guidelines of the Ordo Missi. What I have really seen there are Eucharists celebrated without any hurry, with a great faith, and where you can perceive the joy and the thanksgiving for the gift which is being bestowed in the Eucharist. The statutes also mention the sacrament of penance celebrated according to the rite of reconciliation for multiple penitents, with individual confession and absolution. Topic. Iconography, architecture, and songs Based on the liturgical movement, especially the ideas of Romano Gardini and Rudolf Schwartz that would influence the Second Vatican Council renewal of the liturgy, the movement fosters a special care for some aesthetic questions about the celebrative spaces. In iconography, it makes a retrieval of Byzantine art. In architecture, temples, parish facilities, catechumeniums, and seminaries are plenty of symbologies. The songs of the Neocatechumenal Way are collected in a book named Resuscito he rose from death. Most of them were composed by Arguello, others by Italian musicians or participants of the movement. They usually have a style influenced by flamenco and Israeli music, and occasionally by Negro spirituals. Criticisms The Neocatechumenal Way has encountered resistance and criticism from both clergy and theologians. After the Neocatechumenate was introduced into the parish of Saint Germain des Prés in Paris, for example, the Archbishop of Paris, Francois Cardinal Marty, blocked any further expansion before his retirement in 1981, and similar controversy in 1992 prompted the Bishop of Nancy to transfer the Neocatechumens to a different church. In 1985, then Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, in the Rapportu Sulla Feder, spoke hopefully of new lay movement including the way. The future Pope remarked that they also entail greater or lesser dangers, but that it "...happens with all living beings." The orthodoxy of the way's teachings and the validity of its liturgical practices has also drawn criticism. In 1995 the Italian Passionist priest and theologian Enrico Zoffoli published a critique of the way that accused the movement of heresy, their doctrine is seriously compromised with errors against fundamental dogmatics of the Church, the Popes and the Councils. They negate the redemption, the sacrificial character of the Eucharist, the transubstantiation, etc.
They misunderstand the sin and the grace concepts. Their doctrinal statements are fundamentally wrong. Zoffoli warned that the building of neocatechumenal seminaries, where candidates are prepared for the priesthood educated in accordance with the doctrinal errors of Kiko, could be one of the worst threats for the Church of tomorrow. The Way did not officially respond to the accusations of heresy. There have been allegations that the Way could have a divisive impact on parishes into which it moves. The neocatechumenal communities are made up of people from the parish and in some parishes like in the USA, is made up from people who may even live in another diocese. So in some cases their members do not participate in the parish except to celebrate their masses on Saturday evening with their communities. In 1994, the Diocese of Clifton undertook an extensive investigation of the communities, and concluded that the movement was a form of spiritual enslavement", and that its presence in parishes was "...completely divisive and destructive." Bishop Mervyn Alexander issued a decree the next year banning the neocatechumenal way from further activity in the diocese. In 1995, Gordon Urquhart accused the way and other lay movements, like Focolaire and Communion and Liberation, of sectarianism, devaluing of reason, brainwashing or even a «personality cult» of the founders. Other authors criticize a possible excess of centrality of the way on the initiator's charism and aesthetics, although not totally rejecting the validity of the movement. In some places such as China and the Middle East, local Catholics have complained that missionaries of the way have forced European songs, rituals and prayers on them, without inculturation. Archbishop Peter Takeo Okada has described the Way's presence in Japan's small Catholic community as a serious problem and divisive and confrontational. Staff and students of the Takamatsu Redemptoris Mater Seminary relocated to Rome in 2009, and in 2010 the Japanese Episcopal Conference asked the Way to suspend its activities in Japan for five years. Local bishops suspended the Way's activities in the northern part of the Philippines in 2010, and in Nepal in 2011, assuming that, "...there are about 25,000 neocatechumenal communities in 800 dioceses and 6,000 parishes in 124 nations, including 1,000 communities in 300 parishes and 75 U.S. dioceses." The above mentioned incidents are claimed to be anomalies. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Papal statements. Pope Paul VI stated in 1974, "What great joy and what great hope your presence and activity give us. Living and promoting this reawakening is what you call a form of follow-up to baptism." which will renew in today's Christian communities those effects of maturity and deepening which in the early Church were achieved by the period of preparation for baptism." John Paul II, in 1980, regarding the nature of the way, said that, "...being a way, it is also movement." In his letter On Ye Qual Volta he recognize d the neocatechumenal way as an effective means of Catholic formation for society and for the present time." In February 2014, Pope Francis told the members of the neocatechumenal way that, t he Church is grateful for your generosity. I thank you for all that you do in the Church and in the world." Francis added that, T he freedom of the individual must not be forced, and you must respect even the eventual choice of those who should decide to look outside of the way, for other forms of Christian life." On March 6, 2015, Pope Francis again addressed the Neocatechumenal Way in Vatican City, I confirm your call, I support your mission and I bless your charism. I do not do so because he pointing at Kiko paid me, no, I do so because I want to do it. You will go in Christ's name to the whole world to bring his gospel, Christ precedes you, Christ accompanies you, Christ will bring to fulfillment the salvation of which you are bearers. Topic. 
Regional statistics The highest number of communities found in Europe and the world are found in Italy 10,000 communities and Spain 7,000 communities. The highest number of communities in the world in a country per capita is found in Malta, which has 100 communities in an island of 400,000 persons, which is the equivalent of twice the number of communities both in Italy and in Spain. The way is present in all continents, in over 900 dioceses, with a total of about 40,000 communities in 6,000 parishes. Each community may consist of 20 to 50 members brothers and sisters. In 2014 there are 100 Redemptoris Mater Mother of the Redeemer seminaries in total. In Africa there are 800 communities, as well as in the Middle East with Lebanon having the highest number of communities. See also Light Life Movement Topic. Notes, documents and references Topic. External links Official website